Let us look at Article 12, Paragraph 1 of the India-USA Treaty. This deals with the right of the state of residence to tax royalty. So let us think of a situation where mm -hmm. a person who is a resident of US is getting some royalty or FTS income from India. Right? And in that light, read this particular clause. So this clause says royalties and fee for included services. Now, in 9 out of 10 treaties, you are going to find the word fee for technical services. Under the India-US treaty, the words instead of technical is used as included services. Okay. So if the payment qualifies as either royalty or fee for included services, the definition of both of these is something which is going to be available during the course of our discussion in the next few slides. So if first condition is there has to be a royalty or fee for included services arising in a contracting state. Okay. And paid to a resident of the other contracting state. Now this word India and USA are not there in the treaty. We've just added this particular thing. Right. So royalty and fee for included services arising in India. What is the meaning of arising? That also is given within the treaty itself will be a subject matter of our discussion. And not only should the royalty arise in a contracting state and paid. So if it is only arising but not paid, then in that case, the liability to tax in the hands of the non-resident does not arise. But if the royalty is arising and paid to a resident of the other contracting state, which, which is USA, in such a case, such a royalty or fee for included services may be taxed in that other state. Which is the other state? The other state is the one which we are referring here, which is USA. Now, the use of the word may be indicates that the royalty may be taxable in US, but India may also have a right to tax it. Now, that part is specifically not included in Article 12, Paragraph 1 of this treaty. But when we go to Paragraph 2, we'll get that answer over there. So, what are the key aspects which come up for our consideration? The first thing is, since the taxation is of royalty and fee for included services, you need to identify whether the payment under consideration actually constitutes royalty or FIS. And for this, the answer normally comes from paragraph 3, 4 and 5 of article 12. Second is whether the payment arises in India or the country of residence or a third contracting state. Right. Now for this, there are provisions in the treaty also, which we are going to see subsequently. But then there are provisions in the act as well. If you remember, which tells you that royalty arising in a contracting state or royalty deemed to arise in a contracting state. That's section 9, subsection 1. Third, whether the royalty FTS has been paid. Because like I told you, if it has been arising but not paid, the tax liability technically in the hands of the non-resident may not arise. Now, it's a different and a debatable question whether the withholding tax has to be applied at the time of credit or payment, right? But from a taxability perspective of the non-resident, unless and until the payment is made, the tax liability is not triggered. Whether the recipient is a resident of a USA or not, if you remember, it says, and paid to a resident of the other contracting state. So you also need to find out whether the person qualifies as a resident of USA and for that you need to apply Article 4 of this treaty. And then whether both India and USA have a right to tax such payment. Paragraph 1 gives a non-exclusive right to USA to tax such payment. The right of India will come in the next paragraph.